guys, welcome to my channel. It's Crystal O, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what my meals look like in a day with Whole30, or, you know, while being on Whole30. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've only been just talking about Whole30 because your girl is out here trying to make it to day 30, so thank you guys so much for just bearing with me um, for the next couple of few weeks um, in here. We talk a lot about Whole30 and basically how I am surviving through it. So today I'm basically just going to talk about the meals that I make in a day. I love, love, love to cook. If you follow me on Instagram or you follow me on my Crystal O Kitchen cooking page, you would know that I am a big, huge fan of cooking. I'm always looking for something new to cook, so um, it's just something that I really love to do. But before we jump into this video, um, I'm going to explain a little bit about Whole30 and then I'm gonna jump right into my meals going from breakfast to what a snack will look like to lunch and then to dinner ultimately. So, quick snippet about Whole30, okay. Whole30 is basically like this reset challenge on your health um, that basically brings about food freedom, food freedom, food freedom and self-control. So my biggest things are wanting that better self-control, wanting food freedom, Fruit, I can't say the word right. I can't say this word, guys. I literally cannot say this word. But my thing is wanting food freedom, truly, and wanting to just be healthy from the inside out. I know that ever since I got married, um, you know, they call it happy weight, but I truly believe that I gained like happy weight, like sis was three happy, okay? Just a little too happy. So completely lost, I felt like I lost myself and lost control of my eating habits and I found myself stress eating when I had was going through stressful seasons with unemployment and I found myself seeking food for comfort and to fill me up and make me feel better, right? So that's where Whole30 kind of came in play for me. And honestly guys, I can literally have a whole video about the benefits of Whole30 so far. I'm currently on day nine and I can honestly say that this thing, this little challenge has truly like really, really um, refreshed me and made me feel more alert, more sharp, more energized and just feels good to just feel like I don't know what the word is, to feel fresh, to feel not sluggish, or to feel how I felt when I was like loading myself with a bunch of different, like really unhealthy or just like overeating, you know, foods or whatever. So Whole30 is pretty strict. Um, down below, I'm going to leave some details about Whole30, what I can and can't eat, and just some other stuff that you'd be interested in. If you're interested in getting into Whole30 or jumping into Whole30 or just learning about Whole30, I will leave some references below for you. But let's go ahead and jump into the meals. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with breakfast. So the first meal of the day. I tried to go for a heavier meal first so that I stay full long enough up until lunchtime or even later. So I'm gonna go through my extra virgin oil and just kind of smear that around the pan. And I'm going to be making some fried eggs. I believe they're gonna be called over hard. I just started making my eggs like this, so it's been a journey, but I like it. I usually just scramble them or make an omelet. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack open my next egg and there they go. I'm gonna go ahead and add this ingredient that I got from the store that is Whole30 compliant. It is mixed up salts and herbs along with some garlic. I made sure these did not have any sulfides or MSG and they were cleared. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle them on my eggs as they cook and voila. So after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and crack some more eggs because I am also making food for my husband and I'm just gonna pop his right beside mine. So now I'm just going to go ahead and grab the other half of this meal, which is ground beef cooked with sweet potato, chopped up with rosemary and cinnamon and seasonings. So I made this yesterday in the oven and added rosemary, olive oil, and cinnamon and salt. So yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into a bowl. The ground beef is left over from lettuce wraps, so it just kind of worked out perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our portions to our bowls, and I'm going to pop this in the microwave. 
while that's in the microwave, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare for my lunch meal for work. So I did make um, kind of like a chicken pot pie without the crust. I know it looks a little weird, but trust me, it was delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a scoop or two of this and I'm going to toss it in my lunch bowl. Um, I try not to eat too many potatoes or sweet potatoes a day because I am trying to err on the side of losing weight and not gaining weight or starching myself up. So this is basically one of the more heavier meals of my day. This is basically what it's looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lid on that and it's good to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my skillet and toss my eggs into the bowls. As you can see, they are well, 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 well done over hard, sunny side, ain't no sunny side up. Just They're just well done. Um, but I apparently, you know, lost track of them. So <laughs> this is what we're working with. But they look fine, they tasted great. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some avocado and add it to my bowl. And after that, we should be about done. That's basically what it looks like so far. It looks so delicious and it tasted so delicious. So now I'm just going to clean up a little bit and I'm gonna come back through and grab some parsley. I'm just gonna sprinkle that over my food. So this is basically the end product of all of it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and grab my snacks for today. They are going to be blueberries and mangoes that are dried with no added sugar. And then I am out the door. After work, I try to go as simple as possible. So I'm gonna be making some kala bits and then I'm going to be using some avocado oil, of course, to spray my pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut open my kala bits and I'm going to pour them onto my skillet. So after that, I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger. Or a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna be adding Slap Your Mama seasoning, which does not have any sulfites or any MSG or anything that's non-compliant for Whole30, so that was pretty impressive. Now I'm gonna be adding some mushrooms, some onions, some yellow bell pepper, and then I'm gonna be adding a little bit of spin. After that, I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it through and make sure that the seasonings and everything is cooking in to the cauliflower and the other ingredients that I've added. This is basically what it looks like. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and take some chicken wings that I made yesterday in an air fryer. They are delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and pair them with the cauliflower, I guess, meal or side or rice that I just had prepared in the other pan. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the microwave. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my cauliflower that I just made onto the side as a side dish. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some dry chives on there. I don't know about y'all, but sprinkling stuff on my food just makes me so happy and it makes the meal just so much more like beautiful and like just presentable. So this is basically what it looks like and it was delicious. So now I'm gonna grab my wine glass and pour some kombucha. So I wonder how many of you guys were thinking I was actually gonna pour wine. So if you don't know, alcohol is non-compliant for Whole30, so that is completely out the window. Cheers to Whole30. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy just watching the process of the foods that I make and also just being inspired by my meals. I hope that um, you try them, let me know how they went um, and all that good stuff. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed and comment below with your thoughts. What do you think about this video? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Were these dishes or meals helpful for you? Or are you thinking about starting Whole30? Or have you even thought of Whole30? I noticed that people are literally on a spectrum with knowing of Whole30. I'm always like, have you all heard of a Whole30? And they're like, no. I've never heard of that. Or they're like, oh my gosh, yes, it's so good. So um, yeah, currently loving Whole30. Definitely seeing 
the impact and the effects it's had on my body. I'm doing a weekly update on like weight loss and body changes, even though it's not about weight loss. I know it's about habit change, but the benefits and the byproduct is a weight loss, okay? The benefits is me looking snatched, okay? So I am doing a weekly update on myself just to keep track of, and um, so far, so good, guys. We are currently going into week two, and your girl is trying to crush this and make sure I make it to day 30 strong and proud that I finished. So I will chat with you guys later and yeah, that's basically it. Bye.